Well, you know, first of all, the announcements like this are not happy announcements. Uh, you know, I take some personal responsibility uh, uh, for the changes we made four and a half years ago, and I don't feel bad about it. I think that uh, under Coach uh, Hope's leadership, uh, we did make improvements on, on every phase of the, of the program. Uh, and I think we were starting to see some of the, the fruits of that work. And particularly if you got to see him from the inside working with the young men, uh, those kinds of, of leadership experiences he provided for them uh, were, were truly outstanding. And so I, I start off tonight by saying uh, that, that Danny Hope is a good man who did a great job for Purdue. I never questioned his work ethic, his character. Um, he, he devoted his life to improving this program. He and I have been together almost 10 years when you take both stints uh, together. So this was obviously a day that uh, uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't fun, but it's also a day uh, where we have to understand and be accountable for, for what our expectations were. We came into the year uh, feeling that uh, we would be an improved football team. I think we were. We said we wanted to reduce the variability of our play so that we were more consistent. Uh, against all teams in the league and that we wanted to move up a, a rung on the ladder. And, uh, you know, uh, I, we clearly did not do that. Um, but I, I'll tell you, I, I was, like many of you, I was at uh, the game at Minnesota when we didn't play our best football. Uh, I was at the Penn State game here at home when we, we, we didn't play as, as well as we would have liked. And then for these, these uh, uh, seniors and these players to come together to, to build what they did the last three weeks. I don't care who you play when you're on the road in the Big Ten, it's a challenge. And so to me, it's a, a, a credit to, to Danny, to the coaching staff, uh, that they stuck together, um, that they they fought themselves back into, into contention to have a season where they have that opportunity for the, for the, for the seniors to go out as champions, uh, an opportunity to qualify for, for another bowl. Um, I've asked uh, Patrick uh, to serve as the interim head coach. Danny um, or, or Gary Nord and I talked a little bit about uh, this, and Gary's going to be a senior advisor. Uh, he's been a senior advisor to Patrick once before, uh, and obviously we're hopeful that, that Gary's physical problems will uh, move forward, but, but uh, Patrick will lead the, uh, the team. Uh, during the, uh, uh, the, this bowl process, which we would expect to know something uh, probably by next weekend uh, is probably the, the, the timeline. Uh, well, uh, Patrick is uh, taking care of, of getting the team prepared for final exams and for the, for the bowl game. Uh, I obviously will turn my attentions uh, to, to the search. I will conduct a national search. Um, I can assure you the, the quarterback position in the cradle will always be at the heart of our thinking. Uh, we'll continue to be aggressive off offensively because I think that's part of our, uh, our tradition, our, our experience here at Purdue. <clears throat> I cannot give you a timeline as to how quickly uh, we'll be able to, uh, to go. Uh, some of you have been around this before. Uh, these things uh, sometimes come together very quickly and sometimes they uh, take a little longer. So I'm not going to be giving weekly updates uh, on this. Uh, Situation will come together as a group once we have the uh, the announcement made. Um, when that announcement is made, uh, the new coach will not uh, <clears throat> uh, take over for Patrick. Patrick is going to uh, coach the team in the in the bowl game. So uh, uh, we'll have to we'll have to deal with uh, with that as we get that person on uh, on board. Um, so anyway, that, I think those are my comments, Tom and. Um, you know, we've had a lot of success, and, and we've had success in the last four and a half years under Danny's leadership. And, and every phase of the program is, is he's uh, articulated. So I, I guess what I'm, I'm telling the fans is, look, uh, we, we know we haven't been as, as uh, consistent in our, in our play and our performance as, as we expect to be and as we want to be. And I felt at this point in time a change in the, in the leadership was, was probably the right, right thing to, to do. We've gone from about 54,000 in paid attendance in 2007 8 to about 37,000 this past year in paid attendance. And, uh, you know, I, 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 this is a, you know, the hard thing is I talked to the student athletes today and I talked, you know, the coaches have been through this. It's not an easy occupation that these gentlemen are involved in. And I explained to the young men, I mean, this is, this is part of the 
it's not their fault. They didn't do anything wrong. They, they certainly gave it their all, and I'm, I'm just delighted the way they ended the, uh, the season. But, you know, we can't do what we need to do resource-wise with losing a third of the fan base. Uh, the acting president of the university is Tim Sands, so that's my boss. Uh, now, Tim may have talked to, to Governor Daniels, but I don't envision Governor Daniels taking an active role in this. Uh, the board uh, of trustees and, and certainly President Sands uh, have, been, have been involved and will be involved. Part of this job is you should always have kind of an idea of where the marketplace is with coaching talent. Because when these kinds of uh, circumstances occur, you don't have much time. <clears throat> so you're, you're always uh, in, the, in the situation of trying to understand, uh, you know, where the candidates are and, and what would be the best fit. Uh, I, I, my reference to the cradle of quarterbacks was not just a, a trite saying. We, we are an, an offensive-minded program. That's where we've made our mark over the years, and I don't see that us changing. And we're certainly not going to move into a coach who has a dramatically different scheme because we've built this team to play a certain kind of football. And, and we've seen other institutions who, who made a coaching change, and then they, they changed their style of play, and it took two or three years to, to, to adjust. We're not going to do that. Just in terms of monetarily, what are you looking at? I mean, obviously there have been reports what, what out there with, with uh, <clears throat> the coach's salaries and things of that nature. Are you? Let me, let me put it this way to you, Stacy. Um, uh, uh, we're prepared to, to compete. And we know what the Big Ten and we know what nationally you got to do to compete. And we're prepared to do that.